In this video, we'll discuss the conduction system of the heart. The structures you see in bluish purple on the heart represent the conduction system. This conduction system is responsible for initiating the mechanical contraction of the heart and is therefore responsible for ensuring the flow of blood through both the systemic and pulmonary circulation systems. On the right side of the screen, we also see a graphical representation of the heart's electrical conduction system. This is called an ECG, or an electrocardiogram, and it records the rate and regularity of heartbeats and is also used for diagnostic purposes. And we can see a gentleman in the upper right corner of the screen attached to an ECG machine, and this recording down here would be a normal recording of the heart. Now, the conduction system is made of modified cardiac muscle. So these bluish purple fibers that we see on the heart these aren't neurons, they aren't neurons, they're actually modified cardiac muscle. However, this modified cardiac muscle does not contract. Instead, it generates and conducts action potentials through the heart. The SA node, which is the pacemaker, indicated here by number one, spontaneously initiates the action potential and therefore it initiates the mechanical contraction of the heart. The SA node is located just below the atrial epicardium. Remember, epi meaning outer, so the, it, the, the SA node is located just beneath the outermost layer of the heart tissue. It is also located at the junction of the superior vena cava and the right atrium. The SA node is made up of pacemaker cells, and these cells possess an intrinsic rhythm. This means that they initiate action potentials themselves and at regular intervals without any stimulation by nerve impulses from the brain or spinal cord or any hormonal uh, stimulation. The impulse initiated at the SA node first spreads across two fibers. One of these fibers is the interatrial fiber, labored number 12 here, the interatrial fiber. And this transmits the impulse from the SA node to the left atrium, which is drawn in here. Okay, so the SA node initiates the impulse. The impulse travels along the interatrial fiber to the left atrium. Now it's easy to remember the interatrial, inter meaning between atrium, so between atrium, the interatrial fiber. Um, at the same time, the impulse from the SA node is also being transmitted via the internodal fibers through the right atrium, and this transmits the impulse to the AV node. And again, this is also easy to remember the internodal between the nodes fibers. So between the SA node, number one, and the AV node, number two. So the conduction of the electrical impulse from the SA node is transmitted through the internodal and interatrial fibers at the same time, and there is complete contraction of both atrial chambers before the impulse reaches the ventricles. So both atria are contracting almost simultaneously, pushing the contents of blood within their atria into the ventricles at the same time. And this is all happening before the ventricles contract. And the conduction of the electrical impulse through the right and left atria is represented on the ECG as the P wave here. So the depolarization or the contraction of the, you know, that's, that's the same thing. So the depolarization of the atria and the contraction of the atria is, this, is the same thing. And this is represented on the ECG as the P wave. The impulse then spreads to the AV node, number two, which acts somewhat like a yield traffic sign. So it slows the impulse down, but not bringing it to a complete stop. So the AV node is a critical yield uh, point in the conduction system. It slows that impulse coming from the SA node 
and it slows it down, it doesn't stop it, and without this critical delay, the atria and the ventricles would end up contracting at the same time. So this delay is very important in making sure that the atria are able to contract and empty their contents before the ventricles contract. So the AV node acts as a critical slowing down of the conduction of the impulse. And this delay that we see at the AV node is, represents much of the PR segment on the ECG. The impulse then travels from the AV node through the bundle of Hiss, represented by number three. The bundle of Hiss then splits into two branches within the interventricular septum, the left and right branch of the bundle of Hiss, number four and number 10. The left bundle branch depolarizes the left ventricle and the right bundle branch depolarizes the right ventricle. The two bundle branches then taper out into multiple Purkinje fibers, which then stimulate individual groups of myocardial cells to contract. Okay, so the, the two uh, branches, the two bundle branches, taper out into multiple Purkinje fibers, which stimulate individual groups of myocardial cells to contract. Again, now the ventricles contract almost simultaneously, just like the atrium, atria. And this is represented on the ECG by the QRS complex. The atria also repolarize during the QRS complex, so they become, again, more negative, back to the resting potential. So the atria repolarize during the QRS complex. So Again, during the QRS complex, we have depolarization of the ventricles and repolarization of the atria. However, because the depolarization of the ventricles is so large, the repolarization of the atria is overshadowed and we don't see it on the ECG. Finally, the T wave represents the repolarization of the ventricles. And sometimes a U wave may be seen as a downward deflection, here where the cursor is, a U wave may be seen as a downward deflection right at the end of the T wave. This represents late repolarization of Purkinje fibers in the papillary muscle of the ventricular myocardium. Now this is, could be viewed as normal in most cases, however large U waves may be a sign of hypokalemia or too much digoxin. If the SA node fails as a pacemaker, the AV node or even the Purkinje fibers may then uh, act as the initiator of the action potential. Now this is abnormal, it's not normal, and this is what we call an ectopic pacemaker. So if the SA node fails, the AV node or Purkinje fibers may take over in initiating this action potential and this is termed an ectopic pacemaker. However, their rate of discharge of the, the ectopic pacemaker, if they become the initiator, their rate of discharge is generally much slower than that of the SA node. And it, the, the rate of discharge may go down to 40 to 60 beats per minute. Here is a flow chart representing the conduction of the electrical impulse through the heart. And just briefly, we'll, we'll go over it. The electrical impulse is first generated in the SA node, which is found at the junction of the superior vena cava and the right atrium. From there, the electrical impulse travels over to the left atrium via the interatrial fibers, so between atria. And at the same time, the electrical impulse is traveling through the right atrium, so the, both atria contract simultaneously the electrical impulse continues on to the AV node where the impulse is slowed down. And from there, it travels through the AV bundle of Hiss in the interventricular septum where it splits into the left AV bundle and the right AV bundle of the bundle of Hiss. And the left bundle uh, initiates contraction in the left ventricle and the right bundle initiates contraction in the right ventricle 
and this happens because the fibers continue on from the left AV bundle branch and the right AV bundle branch to get deeper into the muscle of the heart and through the Purkinje fibers. And these Purkinje fibers then conduct the impulse to groups of myocardial cells. Now, we've finished the uh, content for this video and what I would like you to do is just do a quick check your understanding. So pause the video and try out these questions. Now that you've tested your understanding, here are the answers. Now, if you got any of these questions wrong, it would be wise to go back, start the video over again, go through it slowly, pause it at uh, certain times, uh, review the diagrams, go back until you get it right. Uh, pause the video now if you want to double check your answers. And this is the reference where I was able to use that wonderful image of the heart.